What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. It's back at it with a brand new video for you guys today. Happy Tuesday and guys, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so upset because I was just scrolling along and I saw Corey Kitchen. He's gonna be in the movie. I wish I would have kept that as a surprise, but I was just trying to scroll to look for the damn video and I'm scrolling and I'm like, what the hell, that's Corey Buck Kitchen. I didn't wanna be fake with y'all, you know what I'm saying? So. <sighs> Whatever, but that's exciting. I ain't see the trailer yet though. I ain't I ain't do all that. So um we about to get into it though. Um let me see if I can hear this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright guys, let's get into it. Five nights at Freddy's official trailer. Okay. Shall we? Hold on. In about a three. Ow, mother how did you scratch yourself with your own fucking nail? Subscribe. Good hope so y'all can see. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. A security guard. I will take anything. Bloom House, you know it's gonna be good. In the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Turn this brightness up, damn. The producer of Megan? All oh, you have shit. to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. Oh. Who the fuck is that? You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Oh, that's old girl from you, Maybe. I think. Them. Oh! I wish I would go to sleep on a job like that. <laughs> oh. Where's my Oh, there he go. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? Hello, girl. They never found them. Oh. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. <laughs> Not with the candy uh, man hook. Technically, they're animatronics. Oh! What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> oh. It's too late. Somebody got their hand mauled up. That's Bobby creepy go. as fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Where to? Oh my god! Why do I always get the weirdos? Look at Corey, y'all. Oh my God. I'm so happy for him. Shout out to all the samurais. I'm one of them. Um, damn, y'all. Let's talk about it. Oh my God. Like, this is dead ass right now. What the? Oh. What the fuck? Oh, that's my TV. Um, anyway, y'all. Y'all, I'm, I'm reeled in. I'm, I'm, I was in from the teaser, but like from the trailer now, and then Corey at the end. Like, this is incredible. This is incredible because I've been hearing, just like a lot of you all have, I'm sure. Um, there was talks and talks about the Five Nights at Freddy's film. So I'm like, where the fuck is it? I figured like, damn, that they renege on it. You know what I'm saying? Renega? Um, where did that line come from? But um, anyway, it's it's finally here, and I'm so happy for Corey Kenshin. I really am. This is this is really dope. This is really dope. And um, you know, some other familiar faces like Josh Hutcherson. I know he was on some other things as an adult, and you know, just as an older person. But I will always remember him from Sathora. That was my movie back in the day. I wanted to play that shit that I didn't because I'm like, oh hell no, I was gonna turn my house upside down. Fuck that, could fuck that. Um, an old girl from. You, I think that might be Elizabeth Lale. I don't know. 
But um, I'm already knowing this is gonna be good because this is from Bloom House. We already know what Bloom House has made. Okay, hello. Um, the producer of Megan, The Black Phone, and The Invisible Man. I've seen all three of those movies and they were pretty damn good. Even though The Invisible Man liked the suit, it kind of like grossed me out because like the clusters and shit. Shout out to my tripophobic people. Um, you know, we, we gotta get through this together. It's hard, but anyway, y'all, real off topic real quick. It's this, it's this house across the street from ours. They have like this big ass rock outside. Now it would look just fine as a regular rock, but it got holes in it. Big, deep, black holes. And it looked disgusting every time. And I try not to look at it, but sometimes, like when I'm getting home from work in the morning and shit, I look to the side and there it is looking all nasty and repulsive. I'm like, why? That's not a nice home decor thing. Like you could have just had a big ass, straight out the, um, the pirate treasure box rock or something. Why you gotta have holes in it? Ugh, like it's just nasty anyway let's just read the description okay based on the terrifying horror game series of the same name when the night shift starts the nightmare begins uh the film follows a troubled security guard as he begins working at betty Fred's bear's pizza while spending his first night on the job he realizes the night shift at freddy's won't be so easy to make it through we already know that y'all with my freddy five nights at freddy's fnaf day one players at like y'all y'all I, I just can't wait to see all i know is i'm locked in i can't wait to, for october i'm i'm gonna try to go see this at night hopefully i have somebody to go with me because i'm tired of motherfuckers telling me, oh i don't do scary movies i don't do them i don't and matter of fact let me get on you motherfuckers real quick let me break it on down for you cuz but anyway let me explain what happened so <laughs> Um, I saw this topic right on um, Instagram. I do want to do more videos like this, like discussion videos, not like after reaction videos necessarily, but so somebody was saying like, you know, watching demonic movies or something like that, or horror movies or whatever, it opens doors to this and that, and obviously the negative things, blah, 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 you know, and you know, you have these super religious folks, they come in the conversation and they add on to that, um, that um, opinion or whatever is this like, let me tell you something. I have been watching horror movies, horror movies, scary movies, whatever you want to call them, since I was young, okay, since, well, younger, since I was a kid. Okay, and let me tell you something. What I took with me, and if it helps somebody out there, I'd be glad, okay? I'd appreciate it, I'd feel good inside of myself. If you go and see a horror movie, this is what I took for myself as a youthful, young, younger version of myself. Um, whether I went by, went by myself, but more, more, than, more than likely I went with somebody, especially when I was younger, obviously. My mom, to be more specific. If we saw a scary movie together, or if I watched something, whatever, I enjoyed that moment. If I got scared, so be it, right? Um, but outside of the movie theater, like I damn near didn't even think twice about it like that. Like I made discussion about it, but it didn't play a part in my life. You know what I mean? Like, and for example, when I saw Dead Silence for the first time, I was scared shitless. And I honestly, God, do not remember. I'm gonna ask my mama actually if I asked to go see it or did she wreck or did she this is something that she planned because I still don't understand how the hell my 11 year old ass at the time wanted to go see that movie because like seriously for the whole for damn near the rest of the movie I was looking in the popcorn bowl had no business watching that back in the day but um y'all with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video but no no hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. the bottom line of what I'm trying to say is don't let these people tell you that. It's just a movie. I don't know what shit you got going on, but maybe you need to cleanse your soul because I ain't got that going on with myself. I ain't got that going on. I ain't got it going on. Ain't no bad open doors up in here. We good. So, bad. But I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Get right, so. Mama, say hello to the you to the my YouTube subscribers. How many you got? Just say hello to him. You hello, gonna... subscribers. That was mama. You ain't putting me on camera. No, yeah. You How you gonna be on camera all day? Anyway, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. And y'all, keep watching scary movies. Keep watching them. Unless you at home with a Ouija board or some type of shit like that, you good. Okay? But I'm ready to 
Team Foxy, who you with? Team Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, Foxy. I'm Team Foxy over here, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss nothing this way. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay Lorraine, and I'm out.